Okay, what is going on, me It's your boy Rev here, and today I'm going to do a quick little review of Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 1. And yes, this will be containing spoilers, so if you guys don't like spoilers, if you want to watch what episode for yourself, then you can go check it out. I'm not going to be providing any link because you know you have the internet and you can check out the link yourself because you're freaking retarded if you actually think that you're going to miss a Season 4 premiere, but still, it's going to be okay. Okay. So, on this episode, that just opens up. It starts with the preview with Morty just creeping around in, you know, Jessica's feed and Instagram. But, the real depth of the episode goes into where Morty is helping Rick on an adventure, as always. Rick needs this thing called Death Crystals. And if you look into it, then you can see your imminent death. And you can see where the timeline is. And you have millions of possibilities the way you die. Morty sees one possibility in which he dies alongside Jessica, and he wants to make sure that really happens. So, whenever he's flying the ship, he wants to direct the path that he wants to die with Jessica, and eventually ends up killing Rick. Yes, ends up killing Rick. A hologram of Rick then appears, and he keeps on telling Morty to keep on uh, trying to clone Rick, and... He needs his DNA in order for him to stay alive, but the DNA is transferred to other realities where the ri original Rick that died is trying to get back, and this was a really cool concept, really cool concept, because there are different realities in which the, different, the Rick goes through, and basically he gets killed by Nazis the whole entire time, which I thought was pretty funny, and I have not laughed so hard in an episode ever since season one. And that's actually saying something because season two and three had some good jokes, but it didn't really laugh out loud. Like, didn't make me, sorry, didn't really make me laugh out loud in this one. And this was actually a pretty funny episode. Uh, I won't tell you how the episode ends, but actually, no, I will tell you because I'm just I'm I'm feeling amazing right now. Basically, the episode ends with Morty coming to grips with his past. <laughs> Not the grips with his past, but Rick coming back to the original timeline in which he died, stopping Morty from continuing the path that he was going on. Basically, Morty goes on this complete rampage the whole entire episode, and it's actually kind of dark if you think about it. So, seeing Morty in his darkest wasn't really as funny to me, but it still actually came up with a cool concept, and I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. And the ending was pretty funny as well. Whenever Summer keeps on saying what Rick and Morty will do to each other in the future. And goes into vivid detail on how they're going to do stuff. That really pisses them off. And then it goes back to Season 1, Episode 1. And wherever they go, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty forever. It was actually pretty funny. And I really like this episode. Like I said, definitely worth the wait. I will give it a 8.5 out of 10. Because there was some flaws in the episodes, such as Dark Morty and other stuff that I caught on. But still, this is an actually very good episode. Would recommend. And if you guys like want to keep up, if you want me to do another review, maybe the episode 2 whenever it comes out. Maybe. I don't know. But still, this was actually a pretty good episode. And I would recommend you guys watch it. Because it's actually pretty funny. Okay. So, I'm going to go to bed. And see you guys later. Rev out.